Hello. Hi guys. Today, my phone is almost out of battery. Yeah, 3%. So I have to quickly do this quickly. Today, it's Thursday. Thursday, uh, June, of course, 29th. Yes. 2023. The time is almost, almost four o'clock. So it's uh, 16.03 p.m. Three minutes past four. Three minutes past four. All right. So today I, I will give you a hopefully short story. Well, you know me. It's difficult keeping my, my videos, keeping my videos short, difficult. Okay. Early 2000, 2000, uh, no, scratch that. Let's, let's remove that, erase the number. I think it was around 2003, 2004, maybe five. Not sure if you can write that, if it's, never mind. Around these years, I traveled to Brazil. So I live in Norway. I took a plane, well, several planes, actually. First, I traveled from Buda, which is somewhere around here in Norway, further, further north than what I am now. Now I'm around here. Yeah, around here. So I took a plane from Buda to Oslo, which is around here. Then from, then I, so a plane, Jesus. So took a plane from Buda to Oslo. Oslo is the capital, the capital of Norway. Then we, I changed planes, uh, left this plane, got on another plane. In Germany, in Frankfurt, Frankfurt. Then it was 11 hours. Can that be true? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Many hours from Germany to somewhere in Brazil, Sao Paulo. I was actually in Brazil two times. So the first time we, we changed, we changed planes in Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo. I'm not sure how to pronounce that to you Brazilians. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for butchering the names. So we landed in Sao Paulo or Rio. Let me try, let me try to pronounce that in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Probably not correct. Rio. So, um, changed planes in Sao Paulo or it was in Rio. And 
from there we traveled to Fortaleza. Not sure where Fortaleza is here or here. Probably here. And Sao Paulo and and or Rio is here somewhere. If I rem remember correctly, the capital is Brasilia. Brasilia. Where Brasilia? Yeah. Okay. So, I was in Brazil. I was visiting my ex-girlfriend. So this is me, John. I was visiting my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, how romantic. Yes. So my ex-girlfriend. Not going to mention names here. All right. She stayed with her family, with her dad and mother. So this is her, this is her dad, this is her mother. Uh, they had a huge, huge apartment, many, many uh, bathrooms, many bedrooms. Anyway, so while I was staying there, they had, of course, I'm from Norway. So when, when I got out, when I got out of the plane, the first time in Fortaleza, the heat, it, it was like getting, it was like getting punched in the face. The heat it was probably probably 35 40 degrees or something 35 40 degrees Celsius in Fortaleza uh, when I got out of the plane and I felt that heat it was like oh. yeah like getting punched in the face it was oh my god Never, never, ever felt that before, I think. No. Okay, back to the story. I stayed in their apartment. Uh, they made a room for me. It was, it was great being in Brazil, it's so, so different. Uh, Norway, Brazil, so different. It's, it's like an, another, another world, completely different. I felt like I was in, in a video, in a movie. It was amazing, amazing. And everybody, everybody, people in Brazil, people in Brazil, they were like this. Everyone was happy, everyone. And every time someone heard that I was from Norway, they always asked or said, ah, Noruega, ah, Bacalao. Maybe not everyone, but a lot, a lot of Brazilians. Ah, Noruega, Bacalao. And then they said something else, which of course I did not, did not understand. Anyway, like I said, I was sleeping in a bedroom, of course. Uh, so here is the bed. It was much, much, much more 
fancy, better, better looking than this. Trust me. They, uh, so the parents or the mother to my ex-girlfriend, she had put a fan right here. It was standing on a chair. There was, a, there was a fan on a chair next, next to my bed. So <laughs> to keep me cool, right? So I wouldn't, so I would not be that warm and I could sleep. So here, here's the, uh, the fun part. Um, well, not yet. So the fan went sideways, right? Went to this side and to that side, back to this side, to that side. So the fan went sideways, slowly, slowly. And I remembered earlier that day, earlier, we had eaten candy. I think it was some, some type of chocolate, chocolate. And here was a nightstand. Next to the bed was a nightstand, nightstand. The wrapping from the chocolate, it was here. The wrapping from the chocolate it was here. So while I was laying here, trying to sleep, trying to, trying to sleep. Every time this fan went from here to here, the fan blew on the wrapping paper. So this, this paper made a sound. Of course, this made a sound, but I, I didn't think, I didn't think too much of it because of course, this blew on the wrapping paper every time it pointed this way. So it kept going this way. Then I, did, I didn't hear anything, went back. Then you heard the sound from the wrapping paper, from the wrapping and the fan went this way and it's silent, silent. So that, of course, kept going on, right? While I was trying to sleep. But then I heard a sound from the wrapping paper. While, while the fan was here in this area. So the fan was blowing here, but I could still hear, I could hear sound from the wrapper, from the wrapping. And I was like, what? That's not supposed to happen. And I was, I was thinking, what's going on? What's going on? And then I, I jumped, jumped out of the bed, ran to, uh, to the wall. No, the wall, can you see it? Yeah. The wall and turned on, turned on the switch for the light. Turned on the switch for the light and I looked over to, uh, to the nightstand and there was this huge, huge monster. No, not monster, but almost, almost this huge cockroach. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, and 
after I turned on the light so I could, could see this cockroach fell to the ground. It was so big, it made, made this huge noise like this, almost, almost. And I'm like, what the f Okay. So, uh, I did the manly thing, of course. I went out of the, of the bedroom and into the living room and slept on the sofa. Yes. What? What? Are you judging me? <sighs> you should have seen the size of this cockroach. Was it at least this big? At least. What is this? This is five, six, seven centimeters. Five to seven centimeters long. Wide? Yeah, it was probably like, like this, you know. So five to till uh, five to seven centimeters long. Uh, three to four centimeters wide. And I don't know how many feet they have, but four, six, eight, not sure. It was huge. It was enormous. Never, never seen anything like it. Never. <sighs> yeah. Earlier that night, earlier that night, I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth and I saw a lizard to <whistles> climbing the wall and went out the window. Yeah. I guess it's, it's normal. I have no idea. But that cock cockroach, this cockroach, it's cu cucaracha or something in Spanish. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I was a coward. I know, I know. But uh, hey, I slept well on the sofa. Yes. All right, guys, just uh, hopefully short story. No, no, it wasn't. Okay, I'm sorry. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.